allow me to explain why I look like this. If you are watching this on YouTube, you'll understand why I'm explaining. Uh, there was a power outage. Oh. Uh, so I got out of the shower and I heard, you know, there's nothing like that sound that like, shoop, where you hear all the power like sucked out. And I was like, wait a minute. Because, you know, I I have to blow dry my hair. This hair, once it's wet, it's like, you can't, I don't, any, okay, that's not true. I can sometimes air dry my hair and sometimes it comes out like cute and wavy and people yeah, are like, beachy. You, should, you should do that more often. I'm like, it's unpredictable. Like sometimes it's cute, but it's really unpredictable. Um, and as I was trying to like let it dry, I could tell that today was not one of those days. So, um, hence the hair wrap. And it's a look. It's a vibe. <laughs> it's a vibe. Um, also, this hair wrap is available in the giveaway <laughs> that I'm doing. <laughs> Guys, there it is. And there it is. That's why she's wearing the hair wrap. <laughs> plug. Plug. Um, it's actually, it wasn't intended to be a plug. I'm just terrified that, like, the power thankfully came back on because if I didn't have power, I wouldn't have been able to do this. Because I was like, I, I had my phone ready. I was like t- about to text, like, I have no power. And then it came back on with 15 minutes and not nearly enough time. Um, I did try to do my makeup, but uh, didn't quite finish it. So here we are. All right. Here we are. How are you? I'm good. It was, it's a little gloomy. It's a little June gloom today. So I had, um, just like a tank top on, which is why, like, you were probably just like sitting here, like, I thought she requested to come into the Zoom and then being left here. Suffering. I didn't see. Oh, yeah. No, cause I like logged in like early, but then I was like down, I like down here. I'm in a new location. Mm hmm. Cause I didn't want to. I was going to say, where are you? To break, break out. Um, <laughs> Um, this, I, f- I always forget about this room in my apartment building. No one ever uses it. So this is like, oh. no one's going to come in here. Um, but it was, the air is like blasting in here and it's already cold, like outside. So I was like, I got to get a sweatshirt. Cause I was like, I, d- I was like sitting here for a while. And I was like, I'm, I'm uncomfortable. Like I'm cold. <laughs> Let me see this sweatshirt. Is it just the top? Oh, what is it? Oh, it's a little cut. Like I normally probably like wear like cute or something with this but it's so cute i actually when i was doing my um old instagram account where we would like swatch lipsticks and like like try on clothes uh company sent this to me so this was free and i love it it's really (laughs) cute i can't remember the company though so sorry i can't plug (laughs) well it's adorbs i love it um have you seen the latest Diana from Beverly Hills. Oh, I was wrong. I, I woke up, went on your stories, and I was like, "Excuse the you." Okay, so you know what? Thank you. Like Sutton used to be calling Diana and saying thank you right now <laughs> because everyone keeps like doing this mysterious alluding that Sutton said something racially insensitive or racist, but won't say. But we got Diana just straight up saying things that we can, like, tangibly see. (laughs) So for anyone out there who doesn't know what happened, because it literally happened today. Maybe it was yesterday. Yeah, it was maybe yesterday. It was 13 hours ago from when I screen grabbed it. It's gone everywhere. Um, This is a new account, the account Philly.Diva. And A lot of people have been doing this. They've been finding old pictures of Diana and doing side by sides and saying, I just can't believe this is the same person. This is not a new thing. We've like, we do this all the time with housewives all the time, literally all the time. Oh, all the time. It's like, there's so many accounts that do side by side comparisons. I mean, it's, it's kind of like, give us, give us that because we are obsessed with the amount of work people get done and like, Anyway, so Diane has been really upset about it. She's actually, I think she, I went on Twitter for the first time in a while and she had said something about how, wow, it's interesting. People are out there doctoring photos of me and this is a real picture of what I look like and whatever. And so this, per- this, this person posted a tweet of, that someone said, my mind can't comprehend that this is the same woman. And so Diana commented on 
I this mean, post. And it was like this picture was actually taken at UCLA Law School talking about war crimes, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I was 20 or 30 pounds skinnier and having glam was the last thing on my mind. Also, it looked like this picture was manipulated, but shame on you, you and your bullshit shopping. (laughs) And the account responded, holy shit, you had time today. But the fact is, both pics are you. However, neither of them look alike. Welcome to the Bravo sphere. Keep that same energy with the rest of Instagram that thinks you have no storyline and should be fired. But shout out to my brand new page. And then she writes, and not just with the black content creators. And then she responds, it can't feel good being a black content creator. I'm going to, I hope to God she just, it could. English is not her first language. That I know she's going to claim it's a language. Thing. Yeah. You know she is. She, and as she should, because that is the only excuse that she has for writing something like that. And I don't think it is uh, the language thing, by the way, but that is her only saving grace if she wants to get out of that. <laughs> like, I think that that's what she's going to claim. Speaking of no one going into that room. That's just the <laughs> Um, I know she's going to say that it's a language, I meant it this way, whatever, because we already see her doing that on the show with, like, the language. Yeah. Like, the the words being, like, so hung up on words and the exacts and all that kind of stuff. So. Yeah. That's true. And that's, that's the, that's, see, and that's now welcome to that, too. It's like, your whole shtick so far, especially coming for Sutton, is, like, well, you need to be with your messy words. Here you go again. She's the first one to call it out. So it's like, now she really can't like be like, well, I like, you know, she can't use that excuse. Like English is my first time. Like, no, cause like, that's your thing. Like you keep saying like, you need to be careful with what you say and your words and all this stuff. So I don't know. Mm-hmm. This is going to be tricky. She needs to ask Kathy how she like usually scrubs the internet at things. Because right. That's, that's Kathy is good at that. She will scrub the internet. It's weird how people can totally do that. I I heard someone someone commented on uh the Dubai post I made. Oh, I saw last that. week that Lisa's husband is actually like not who he claims to be. He has all sorts like he had some sort of you know scam of a business. Uh, look it up; you can see all about it. And I'm not really good at diving deep. Lisa Renna? No, no, Dubai. Oh, Dubai. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. Oh, um, yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, and, uh, I tried to look it up. I couldn't find anything. I looked up, like, this is, my research skills are terrible, though, people, so, like, and so I looked up Dubai cast Lisa husband, and nothing really came up, and then I looked up her full name husband, and then I looked up his name, and I don't, I guess they scrubbed it from the internet, because I can't find anything about his scam of a business well you know but we what, are that's, gonna that's see good, that's big money we have big money you can scrub the internet it's yeah. wild you can do that yeah and i don't even know how you start doing that but like there's they ways. have fixers man they got fixers right like, it's like olivia pope scandal like they got like the oh yeah okay yeah i forgot that there's like yeah because you know who do you call who, you like Buster? Who you, <laughs> like who the hell do you call? You're like get this taken off the internet. Um, all right, guys. Before we get into it, here's some plugs. Please rate, review, and subscribe to the pod if you're not already. On my YouTube channel, I'm recapping Atlanta with Kendrick from Reality and Comics Two podcast, and I will re- re- I'll release all the episodes on the podcast once I hit 500 subscribers over there on the channel. I'm also recapping Real World New Orleans with Donnie. Episodes one through six are up now. And starting June 23rd, I will be recapping here on the podcast. uh, What is it called? Ex-Wives Club, Real Housewives, Ultimate Girls Trip 2, and Southern Charm. Oh, I am excited for the Southern Charm. (laughs) <laughs> mm-hmm. And the, they released they released the first like five or seven minutes already, and literally right off the top, we get the Naomi, Craig, and Paige drama tension. Triangle. Yeah, 
Leva actually is the one who's messy. She calls Naomi knowing that she's filming. She's on speaker and she's like, so have you talked to Craig? <laughs> and, and Naomi's like, Naomi's like, um, what do you mean? And she's like, I don't know, since Vegas. I'm like, okay, Leva is not fucking around. Naomi and Naomi was like, that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> okay, Naomi. She's like, excuse you. <laughs> Like, I'm single. I get ready to mingle. I was in Vegas, you know. <laughs> right? She's like, shut your fucking mouth. Um, <laughs> she really was. <laughs> she was like, that's literally all I'm going to say. We're going to have a conversation offline, Leva. Offline. She's like, mm hmm. I'll talk to you later when yeah. the cameras are down and I'm not mic'd up. Camera down. Literally, we are camera down. Oh, did you see the Tamra yes. interview with Jeff Lewis? So Tamra went Jeff. on Jeff Lewis's podcast. Jeff gets all the tea. Yes. Uh, he went on, she went on Jeff Lewis's podcast and Tamra is just willing to say everything. This is why I love Tamra. She doesn't give a shit. She's like, I will be messy. I don't care. I miss Tamra on Housewives. Yeah. She, she said that. She has on good authority that Heather called, a Heather was the one who called Andy and said that Tamara has a podcast that goes, that talks about all behind the scenes stuff about housewives. So how could she ever come back to housewives if she's going to have a podcast about that? And so Tamara called Andy and was like, what is this that you're talking about? My podcast isn't like behind the scenes spilling secrets. It's, it's just talking about the shows. Like I don't, I'm not spilling any secrets that are confidential. Like, have you even listened to the podcast Andy and Andy said no and she knows that Heather doesn't want her to come back to housewives obviously because we know why she wouldn't want her to come back to housewives yeah um Heather is really I don't like was not I, what we expected it's so funny because it's always this it happens like this like in their world when they're filming they think that they're like killing it. And they like Heather, Gina, and uh, the other one that always follows Gina around. Um, sh- they they thought that they were like it. They thought that they were like everyone's going to be watching them. They're going to be like they're so cool. Like they're the the best ones. Like F Shannon, F uh, Noella, and all that. And like we were all going to be up their ass. And I'm watching it like. Uh, I don't know how you guys end up doing this, but I am Team Shannon up in here. Like, I don't like Noella, but she was serving what we needed because they were so far up Heather's ass the whole season that I was like, why is Heather, because she's really rich or something, like, that we have to just follow whatever. She's not even, she's boring and she seems very elitist. I hate it. And I'm like, like, they don't have any fun. They have no sense of humor. Like, they were just being so, like, like pinkies up like just like no sense of humor and i was like i think i would be really annoyed with noelle if i was like in her presence but she was for a viewer she was doing her fucking job okay she was annoying heather which i was loving she was acting like and doing the things that were like we needed from the season that we wouldn't have otherwise gotten so i was like fuck that like and they think and then i'm like i just need i need tamra back though because Tamara would have been regulated that whole season. We need Tamara back. Um, and I think Jeff Lewis is on a campaign to get Tamara back. Because he really wants her back. Like, he he's on a campaign, baby. I think uh, he hates Heather. He hates he, Heather. He hates her. And he loves Tamara. And I I think, I, I, I know we talked about this offline, but I, I'm starting to, the more, I feel, and I think Tamara, I do think Tamara wants to come back. I don't know. I think that we might we might get a get a Tamra comeback. Maybe not next season, but because uh, I don't know if they already started filming. But the season after, have they already started filming? I don't know. I, they, I, I'm not sure. That's what I'm saying. If they haven't started filming, then I think there's a good chance we might we can, might be able to get a Tamra because, like, I feel like we're going on like they're starting to do a heavy campaign for her. Like, this is not a coincidence. She's on Jeff Lewis's podcast. Jeff Lewis is talking to Andy on Watch What Happens Live. Like. She's not, she's not batting it away. She seems like she wants to come back. So she's Teddy. made it clear that she wants to come back from the second she was fired. Like yeah. she's, she and never even, wanted to leave. Yeah. She, I knew that, I knew that she never wanted to leave, but like people like are like, oh, cause she has this podcast, but like, 
I don't think that that is, I think that she can still come back and like maybe, I don't know if she can, she'll be able to still do her podcast if she's back. Like she might have to put a pause on it, but I do think she would. So Teddy, if like, if it came down to that, if Andy was like, well, if you want to come back, you have to like not do your podcast while you're doing your season or you can't talk about your season or something like that. I don't know. I think she would be like, okay, that's fine. <laughs> I think she would. I think she would immediately say that's fine. <laughs> of course. And, and Teddy I, is and so panicked about that. I think that Teddy is panicked. <laughs> like, this podcast is all Teddy has. I know. I I do I felt it like she was trying to joke about it, but I felt it like nah. <laughs> like she was like nervous. She was like, oh, because Teddy like Tamara is still likable and Teddy knows that she only has she has such a limited although wait, isn't she what does she do? Entertainment tonight? I don't know. Do people still watch that? And me, I feel like I don't. I should. I. I don't follow Teddy's career, so I truly don't know what else she's doing besides the podcast. And the only reason I know about the podcast is because Tamara's on it with her. Exactly. And she and she knows she's thanking her lucky stars that Tamara is doing the podcast with her. I don't her. think anybody would be listening to the podcast if Tamara wasn't on there because people really miss her. So that's so they're able to get something by having her having a Tamara having a podcast. I I completely think that if Tamara left the podcast, that Teddy would be really <laughs> out of luck. Like she can't. She's not a. She's not the star. Like, hold on, wait. She, let's think of how many good things. Like Tamara coming back to OC wouldn't just bring Tamara back to OC. It would create amazing tension with Tamara and Shannon. What a cool like storyline to see play out. Yeah. If Heather's still there, what a great storyline to see play out there. And Teddy wouldn't have a podcast anymore. Yes. So many good things would happen by just one simple thing. Bring Tamara back. Yeah. I still need to know how, I hope that um, on the reunion for Beverly Hills, Andy asks the girl, the gals of how they feel about Teddy talking to LVP. <laughs> I still need to know how they felt about it. <laughs> Oh my God, they were so jealous. I need to know. I think they were. <laughs> I think they were like, I, especially Kyle. Kyle was like, are you kidding me? Because you know how that is when you've all made a pact that you're like on the outs with someone. Yeah. And then when they go talk to that person, it's like, wait. Yeah. Like, it's like, what? it has to be a group decision. You have to clear it with us first. Especially, I think especially for Kyle. Because <laughs> Kyle, like, Lisa was her like best friend. And Kyle literally, she had the biggest blow up with LVP. It had nothing to do with her, too. So she really inserted herself in that. And then Teddy goes in there to LVP's restaurant and talk to her without permission. Oh, all right. I hope she got a timeout. <laughs> I can just imagine the anxiety Kyle felt. Like, she's like, are you fucking serious right now? There was a whole thing where people kept on for, like, a year saying, goodbye, Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> I would be pissed. I'd be like, are you fucking kidding? <laughs> yeah, there's, like, a rule. Like, if all of you had a falling out with the same person, you have to, there's, like, they need to make sure that they have talking points. <laughs> Going into that conversation. And I mean, so. Kyle's definitely seen LVP out and about. And yeah, she said like hello and whatever, but like it's always very standard. Oh, she hasn't yeah. like tried to have a conversation. Mm. <sighs> Ooh. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> and it took place in Tom Tom. Like, oh, to be one of those patrons in Tom Tom that night. I God, know. I'm so jealous of that. I would have been like this. <laughs> like trying to get them <sighs> that's what Tamara was doing which was hilarious and that's why Tamara full circle and this is why Tamara brings the content because she said she was she showed it she was like I was taking the little I was like boop boop boop, 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 boop. and she was the one who encouraged it to see Tamara is producing constantly she was like go say something <laughs> yeah yes. alright bring Tamara back that's her that's our conclusion I didn't know that we were joining the campaign, but we just did. We just did. We just did. 
All right, let's get into the episode. I need to make fun of this title. I normally like the titles, but this title's pretty cheese. Okay. It's called High Cries and Misty Demeanors. Reach. Reach. Don't love it. Um, <laughs> I just need to be petty about that. Don't love it. <laughs> after my, after my, because I, I make one good title of an episode and I'm like, <sighs> I had to text Pia when I, I titled last week's episode. I'm like, Pia, I'm going to title the episode A Pool of Many Colors. And I was, I was like, like living for it. Wow. I, was like, I was at work. I was like, do it. I fucking love that. Because <laughs> I'm not normally witty like that. So I was like, should I tell everyone? <laughs> should, I, should I post it in my stories? Yeah. Okay. All right. So Erica, you see, she she's downsized and she like motions around her around her tiny little house i was we like clearly downsized. downsized i was like i kept on looking at that beautiful like uh velvet couch behind her it's like a deep wine color i was like oh, God, probably cost so much money i was like i was like yeah this, I was like, she's this is downsized, downsized. Like, and looks then nice then she <laughs> then she says this line she goes but she you know she has to afford glam she goes nobody judges when people have big families I want to buy a bunch of clothes. Um, That's I actually, not I think why we're judging. Yeah, I was like, first of all, we do judge people with big families. And like when it gets okay. to gets to like the twelve child, that's weird. But <laughs> this is different, Erica. We're not judging this because, by the way, you've just claimed you can't pay a two million dollar tax lien. I mean, I want to know how much her glam is costing her. It's like, yeah, Crystal Crystal broke it down when she's yeah. like, you have to pay for the hotel and the air for my right. And you have to pay for their food. You have to pay for the, their, you're paying for it. And it's usually not, they don't even usually just travel with one glam person. It's like a team. So that that's, that's just like a really big bill. Yeah. When she's like, and you have to pay them. I'm like, oh yeah. And they get their fee. Yeah. Like, yeah. So like travel, all that is like just to get them there. Like that's not like, that, that's not their payment. It's not like, oh, they just get to come. Like, that's not their fucking payment. I wonder if they I, get, like, I, a, I wanna I wanna know what I wonder if anybody has this, like a breakdown of everybody's glam on the show, like what they pay their their person, like what their going rates are and like all that. That'd be super interesting if someone could figure that out. I am disappointed to see both Sutton and Garcelle having glam. I'm like, guys, I don't we don't need glam. Okay. I'm not gonna I'm gonna just Guys, it's really early in, and we're gonna fight. Okay. Uh, no, I, I, that's my goal. That's my goal in life is to be able to have glam. I would love that. Like, if you can afford it, fucking do it. Like, I don't like see a problem with it. Like, Erica cannot afford it. Is the problem for me? Like, when Erica was doing it before, we knew that they were crooks. I was like, fine. Like, I don't care if you want to spend your money on that. It's your fucking money. Apparently, it wasn't, but it's your money. And you can do that. Like, that's fine. Like, I don't care. And also, Crystal, if you don't want to do that, that's fine, too. Like, I just, I just I mi- I I'm mad miss though housewives when, the glam- when they don't do it. I miss housewives when they don't do it. I don't miss housewives when they don't do it because they looked really bad if you go back and look at the looks. They were not, they, I like housewives. This is honestly the reason why I'm tuning in and honestly the reason why Beverly Hills is my favorite franchise is because i am just really wanting to see the one percent do what the one percent do and i don't want like they're not me and i want to like look through a looking glass and see that shit i don't want them to be bad people necessarily you do have glam it as me you're a bad person but like i just want to see that stuff i find that fascinating i find it fascinating but i will say this if you do have all that team there and glam, like the looks that I saw were not great. So I was like, I was like, I was a little dis. I thought you were going to say you were disappointed in the glam. Squad. Well, no, what we they put together. To those we will get to. Look. I wasn't. I wasn't impressed. We will get to that. That that was what I was really mad about. Yeah, because <laughs> Garcelle's team, even Diana's team. Diana's team, okay. Diana's like again. I'm not mad if you haven't let me do it. Diana's team has hair. Like 
Yeah, and also they have like they have to like also remodel. <laughs> like, like they always have to move the furniture around. Yeah, like, right. Like Diana has like a whole like she she reminds me of like I just rewatched Titanic. Um, for the uh, like the hundredth time, I don't know if you saw my co- Titanic content. I'm on a co- <laughs> Titanic kick right now. Um, but it's just so funny. Like back in the, d- I was like commenting because every time I watch Titanic, I just like see something different, and I'm like, she's like decorating her fucking suite with Picasso. So it's like it's just like the ultra rich just like coming in. They gotta bring art and shit, into that's, their- and that's Diana. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it's just like wow to be that rich. You like. I, like the, the the decorations that the hotel provide not good enough. <laughs> it's so J Lo. It's like J Lo. Whenever she goes anywhere, she's like, "I need it all white. I need to have these flowers." It's just so funny to me. It's like they're a writer. I, it's like okay, all right. <laughs> uh, Rena and the whistling, and like it drives Erica crazy. And Rena keeps, "Was I whistling?" That's so Rena. I feel like she's gonna like as much as I like she pisses me off. I think she's gonna be a hilarious old old lady. Like, I you know agree. what I mean? Yeah, she's gonna be like her mom. <laughs> she's gonna be like, was I whistling in her, in her track suit? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's gonna be like her mother, like one hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, all right, so breakfast on the beach, stunning view. Like, holy shit. Yes. Um, breathtaking. This is Sutton saying a lot of vegetarians eat bacon. I'm like, you need to just not sit up like Um, Dorit did not sleep. She's really having a hard time. And it's sort of like what you said, Kia. Yeah, I kind of feel like, though, it's one of those things where I don't think she'll sleep really anywhere. Like, even yeah, at home, she'll but I think probably it, not sleep. Absolutely. She's not going to be able to sleep anywhere. But, like, that's why it's just, like, her going on this trip, like, this quickly. I don't know if, like. And again, I don't even think that it was her idea. I think that the, it was like one of those, like you kind of mentioned, I think it was like a producer being like, okay, we have to go on a trip. Like, we're going to be like, this is a great way for Dorit. Like, the, no, this is not. This is a woman who is traumatized going on to Yeah, another... what a weird angle. Like, they yeah. always have to find an angle. And what a weird angle that it was Dorit's idea to help her get over this robbery. Because it, 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 it clearly isn't because then they're also like, giving us contradicting footage that would say the otherwise like when she's like i'm very nervous about this like she's like, <laughs> like she does yeah. this was a woman that is saying without saying what was saying that she doesn't necessarily want to go on this trip but she's being forced to go she does not want to be here like right? pk's like just go just go like i'll like if you don't like it i'll come get you or no like yeah she's like been kind of saying that she does not want to go this whole time um all right so this next part is truly like it's comedy because it's so unhinged it's it's just the start of of erica's like i don't even know what to call it so kyle asks for sugar in spanish which is Azúcar and Erica goes Azúcar. Okay. <laughs> oh. And Crystal goes Erica, I love the way you talk. And Erica just just she goes, yeah, these antidepressants are really killing it. And in her confessional, she goes, last year I was waking up with this hopeless feeling. And there's a lot of sadness still here, but there's a lot of happiness, like having some fun with some friends, having some sex, and just trying to stay in the moment and not stay in the past. Well, that's convenient. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's convenient. And then Air, and then Garcelle, with a very interesting question. She's like, would we be able to tell if you didn't take them? Which is an interesting question to ask. And then it gets into this conversation. She's like, oh, you think I'm bad now? Uh, and Garcelle's like, oh, maybe even like a bully? And Erica's like, I wear that with like a badge of honor. They said I was a bully in court documents. And I'm like, oh, oh, what am I supposed to just take it lying down? No. 
get the shit knocked out of you. You gotta take, you don't take it. You just, you gotta go with it. I'm like, <laughs> honestly, the head wrap is really bringing this Erica character to life for me. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of enjoy living in this Erica character. Like, you, you play, you, you play the Sutton character. You know, that's your role. That's your go-to when we do these recaps. I will play the Erica character. I am mad that the character I play the best is a middle-aged white woman from the South. <laughs> well, I'm sure you're yet to find. Maybe you'll. Maybe your Garcelle will be good. We're, we're no, I enjoy. No, I enjoy though playing a middle-aged white woman from the South. <laughs> I don't think you understand. Like <laughs> that's you're connecting with it. <laughs> yeah. No, this conversation then it takes an even scarier turn. Because um, Sutton's like, well, I mean, that whole bully attitude works well in the courtroom. <laughs> and Kyle is like, yeah, maybe you should take the bar with Sutton. And it turns out Sutton's like, you know, maybe I should take the LSAT. Okay. <laughs> and we're like, what? Uh, and Erica says, yeah, you know, Tom did so well on the bar that he used to grade it. And, you know, I'll help tutor you. I've got some tricks up my sleeve. That was crazy and unhinged. What are you saying? I've got some tricks up my sleeve. And even Rena goes, wow. Wow. (laughs) Also, it's like, like, it's so interesting. Erica's like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde with like Sutton. Like, I'll help you, Sutton. Like, what? No one knows what is happening. Rena's even like, uh, this can't be good. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this cannot be good. That is so funny. Uh, and then, then they, they they try their best to switch topics. Sutton's like, so how are you doing with Talisa? She's like, how are you doing about your mom? Like, let's 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 help Erica out because honestly, this isn't good for her. Yeah. Um, and Lisa talks about how her mom said, like, look to the birds, and and like this is this happens a lot when people pass, and I think it's sweet. Um, because then you can just then you like see your parents everywhere or see like a past like someone who's passed everywhere um because then now anytime rena sees a bird she's gonna think it's her think it's her mom yeah and that's great because there are birds everywhere and that's great because you're gonna think it's your mom that's cute that is um, nice i didn't mm-hmm. know you're supposed to do that for people yeah i'm gonna think about that next time yeah uh so then they go some people surf some people go shopping this was this kind of went on for a little too long for me. I was like, okay, get to the next part. That's yeah, I was like, I would have been on the shopping thing. I don't do big bodies of water like that. Whoa, 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 no, no, no. That's that surfing looked dangerous. I know. It's like everybody just seems real comfortable like doing that. I'm like, Mm-mm. no, thank you. <laughs> um. So finally, we get to the interesting part, and <laughs> okay. So they bring up Crystal when it's, it's so it's Kyle Dorit. Kyle and Dorit look fabulous. I love both of their outfits. I love Dorit with the hat and the glass and the dress and the sneakers. Yeah. Very good. Love it. I always love a Dorit look. I don't always, but oftentimes, yes. And I, I, like na- I would say nine times out of ten or maybe eight times out of ten I do, but I always am okay with her. Like, even if it doesn't hit, I see where we went. And I'm okay with it. I'm like, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I like her new confessional look. We got like a gold neutral Chanel thing. Enjoying yeah. it. Um, I also, wait, real quick. They threw, they tried to throw a little shade at Garcelle. Uh, they showed her, her beach house, Ventura County. No shade though, because honestly, Los Angeles County is so ridiculously expensive. And Malibu is right on the border of Ventura County. It's like so, so close. So, so no shade. I love that you are here for the official geography of California for those who do not know because the editors do try to be shady. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I will not allow it. 
I shall not allow it. Um, so they bring up Crystal and okay. So now Kyle, Kyle has clearly really heard some shit about Crystal. Like, yeah. I feel like it's clear that Kyle had been hearing from a lot of people when Crystal was coming on the show stuff, and she was like not kind of ignoring it. Like clearly, when people said when people heard Crystal was coming on, they were like, "Kyle, be careful." Yeah, because she is quick to like she's like she doesn't just quick twist words. It's something bigger than that. And like she's jumping on this full in, like full all the way in. Yeah, but then over with the other ladies. Erica is like, <laughs> Erica's doing that thing where she's like hyping someone up to like get mad. She's like, she called you a liar. Ooh, what are you going to do? Ooh, she called you a liar. I'm like, relax. Yeah. Erica, take it down a notch. And she's like, she's Several. never going to stop coming for you. She is never going to stop coming for you. I don't agree with that. I feel like Sutton all she wants to do is stop coming for Crystal and she just wants Crystal to stop coming for her. I think that oh <laughs> okay like <laughs> I also feel like uh Eric wasn't Erica saying that what Crystal did was super bad with the whole like very dark and like you leave it open ended. That's what I keep that's what I meant when I say Erica is like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde because I can't keep track of like what side of the pendulum she's on because I at some points I'm like oh she's like defending Sutton and she's agreeing and then she's like <laughs> over she's just like she's being two-faced is what she's doing she's just like she's over here like oh no like she's throwing up she wants to keep it's what who, who, did you who said it was it you or was it them that said that Erica just wants to stir the pot, so she, like because she's tired of everyone talking, talking about, about her. her. So mm-hmm. I think she just wants to keep the drama going. So she's saying what both people kind of want to hear to keep it going. She's stoking the fire, if you will. Like it's like I also think Erica kind of forgets like what happened yesterday. Well, she's so drugged up. <laughs> she she called you a liar last night. She, when it comes to being called a liar, we know how she is about that. Uh, yeah. Uh, and she's now, cause it's like Erica's like Sutton saying that now, now everyone's gonna fill in the blanks. But like, that's exactly what you said. I Crystal know. I was like, you just in. said that about what Crystal did. Like, literally. Like, she exactly. Is forgetting like, her narrative. She's so wasted. Um, and so. Kyle, back with like with the shopping people. Kyle is like, I feel like Crystal makes me nervous, Sutton, because like she's <laughs> more manipulative. Like Erica just says it as where like Crystal's more like like sneaky. But then Sutton's like, I want to help her. I want to help her be a better person. You don't go behind your friend's back and make up a lie. You do not want to help her be a better person, Sutton. What are you talking about? Sutton, like again, just. Stop. Like, Kyle was helping you. <laughs> Damn it. Did you catch this part? So, when Gar- so Garcelle goes, you know, when you brought up that thing about her friends, uh, that was, and at the same time that Garcelle says that was powerful, Kyle is saying that was very calculated. So, I don't think Kyle was saying that wasn't cool, and Garcelle was saying that was powerful. How do we feel about that? I mean, I actually, I, I love my queen. I love my queen Garcelle. But no, I agree with Kyle. I was calculating. It, I was it, actually it, surprised that Garcelle thought it was powerful. Um, I just think that she, Garcelle has clearly, she's, well, honestly, we're here because of Garcelle and her bringing this up. So it makes sense for Garcelle to be more on that tip than us. Because I don't even, like, if Garcelle had never even brought up that she thought that she set Sutton up, Crystal set Sutton up, uh, we wouldn't be here. So, it's true. I got, like, I love Garcelle, but that is, we are here because Garcelle opened the door and Crystal ran through it. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but I agree with Kyle. I think it was calculating. I, like, but I also... If I had that in my chamber and this was happening to me, 
like be, like me being Sutton, I would have probably said it too, but I I would have lived in it and not have been like such a like she set Sutton like kind of half says stuff and I just would have been like, "Well, you know what? Th- I I haven't been saying this, but now I and it's because I wasn't sure about it, but now I am sure because you this is now the second time you've come for me and we are supposedly friends now and I am going to say it now. I've heard that you do this to your friends. I won't name the names. I can tell them to you privately, but your friends tell me that you um and I'll I would like go more specific of what she does. And is this true? Because I'm feeling like this is happening to me right now. I would have just been like living, being more clear about why I'm bringing it up. And also being clear that I've, been, I've known this and I took my time to decide if I thought it was worth even giving it a second thought. But now this is why I am because it's happening to me. Once, once you doing this to me once is like a mistake. Twice is forming a pattern. Okay, so I'm trying to nip it in the bud before it gets to three. Okay? <laughs> right? And then Rina drops the bomb that Crystal had a falling out with 14 friends. That's a large number. <laughs> I thought 14? it was like two, I, I thought it was going to be two tops. Um, First of all, how do you even have a group of friends that big? A group of friends that are all united that much that would have a falling out like it has like, to be sure. like some type of like club. Like I feel like you know what I mean. Like right? where you because like fourteen people seems like it's like some type of like club you were a part of that you did something weird in. Like I don't know. Like a I'll just like a knitting club. I don't fucking know yeah, what you do. Like how are you all united and then that group of friends? Because like I can know fourteen people, but for all. 14 people to be affected by the same person and those people are like yeah we can't deal with that person yeah like, i i bet you it was some form of like a club and she seems like a social climber so she was probably like you know in these clubs are hierarchies and stuff like that she was probably trying to like knock people off or like get close to whoever she thought was going to be like the top dog like she's really close with diana like you know what I mean? She's a social climber. Um, so I feel like it has to be some type of like whatever I don't know what the club is, but some type of club. And I don't people get started social people. climber. That sounds. I get more like she goes into like a like I feel like she experiences things so sensitively that she goes and she's like, well, yeah, they like did that to me. And you then don't they think have she's to a like social in- climber. No. I well, think she, I think it comes out, I think, because like, okay, the reason I think she's a social climber is because that, com- that's like a Lisa Rinna vibe to me. More so than a, Crystal's doing, so, like when Crystal had the whole incident with Sutton, mm-hmm. with the, the coat, or her, she brought her the coat, remember yeah. she like couldn't participate in activities the next night? She had to like tap out. Yeah, but I, the, the reason why I think she's a social climber is because of that dinner she had where they were talking shit about Sutton and she's like, I've never even heard of her. Like that she seems like one of those people like, oh, I I've been like I'm around these type of people. Like, I don't know, that kinda gives me social climbing vibes. I get that, but I feel like when when they're saying she does stuff like this, what she's doing is like victimy True. Like, a, like but I feel like she actually is experiencing these things that way. So with the Sutton thing last year, she experienced it like a violation. And thank God there were cameras there to capture it so that we could see Sutton really did just like go in real quick and like say, I don't know what you're doing over there and walk out. Because when we see the way Crystal was explaining it to people, in like in the van, she was explaining it to people. She's like, and then she walked in and she was like, "What are you doing over there?" I know, and I was like, like, "Whoa, that's yeah. not what she did." So yeah. thank God there were cameras there to capture it. She so really she could- said it menacingly too. She was like, "What are you doing over there?" I'm like, "What?" <laughs> so she imagine her doing that in a group of people that didn't have cameras there to okay. corroborate 
So then it becomes like this whole thing where they're like, so wait, did you do that? And she's like, no. And okay. Get, so like that mm-hmm. sort of stuff, right? Okay, so like, I, I vibe with you. I still think she's a little bit of a social climber, but not in the scenario. That not you're, like, you know, not, what I mean? not so like, in the example that we're, where I think the falling out happened. Uh, yes. I agree with you on that. Like, so like okay. that's what I think when they mean, like, she does stuff like this. It's like, so she does these sorts of things where they're like, and then we had to, that we thought that this person like did yeah. this thing. And then we, and were then like, it happens to somebody else in the group and they're like, wait, hold up. And Has like, she been so doing this to everyone? She like that. Yeah. Cause it, it, it so, is dangerous though, because it's like, then like people are like, Oh, you did this to her. Like, how dare you? And it's like, and then Garcelle ain't wrong. She just sits in there in the corner and like someone's talking for her and she's like powering like this. Like, yeah, that, I she always does in this. In the last like, podcast, I talked about how she does this. Like, she gets all quiet. She's like, no, no, no. I don't like that. I hate that because it's and and I not to say that she's like in her mind she's not experiencing the things that she's experiencing, but I do think I agree with Kyle. I think part of it is very calculating because she. I think she is self aware enough that she knows that. Like, people are buying into it more when she's acting like she's a, a hurt baby duck. Like, you know, just like. <laughs> like, she allowed Rena and Erica at the dinner later in the episode to straight up talk for her. But I also think that's a tactic, too, because then it's like, well, I never said any of that. That was Lisa and Erica. But she allowed it to go on. Which is why I was really happy Garcelle called it out in the moment because she's like, when you do that, like, it like makes it like a bigger thing. Like, speak up, say 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 how you feel. Like, stop letting them talk for you. Yeah. So I was very happy Garcelle coming in and again to like s- stop like because this could have like again gone on. Thank you. <laughs> So, yeah. So, finding those 14 friends really changed a lot. That definitely changed a lot so, for me, too. I think this theory, though, of, like, this is kind of what the pattern is, is accurate. Because, once again, Sutton it, it's having the same sort of scenario. And I'm sure that's kind of what they said. They're like, you know, Sutton heard that they were like, yeah, so she said that this person did this. And... That's not exactly what happened, but then we had to like investigate it and try to like figure it out, but then it didn't happen. But then this another thing happened, and like these sort of incidences keep incidents keep happening. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um but Erica is is still stuck. Erica is like talking to like she, Erica's not really in the conversation. She's like having a conversation about something else. She's like, Don't yeah. ever call me a liar. Don't ever call me a liar. <laughs> You're not no dorit nails it though dorit was like crystal said what she said to defend herself against what garcelle was saying and to try to look good for garcelle i was like what? i mean it's true like garcelle shouldn't have brought it up i blame the booze i blame yeah. the, the alcohol on that and like thinking that it, like kyle was sort of like welcoming like an open forum uh and Gar- crystal you know, she was caught off guard, but like she had time then to clarify after, but didn't yeah. take the opportunity. Um, but that is what she tried to do. Um, and so Erica takes <laughs> Crystal over to the bar. This scene looked like this to me. This scene looked like Erica was like the drunk regular at the bar, and Crystal was like some chick who came up to grab a drink. And like Erica was like, You'll be fu- like just talking to a stranger. Like Erica was having like a, a conversation with a stranger, and it was like routine advice. She's like, "You can follow your dreams. <laughs> Anything you put your mind to, you can do it." Then she was like having other conversations, like that were personal. She's like, "And I said, mother, I'm gonna be a dancer." <laughs> like, what are you? <laughs> That's <is> so good. <laughs> She's like, she's like, she's like hugging her. She's like, and you tell them, I'm gonna make it anywhere. <laughs> I okay. I don't know if you want to do this, but for more content for your TikTok, 
I think you should just start doing parodies of Erica. <laughs> like, just, like, filler. I, 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 and, but it has to be, like, this setup, too. Like, okay. like, like this, the look? <laughs> this, this whole look absolutely works for me. And you're just <laughs> have a martini always. Yeah. <laughs> Erica giving Crystal and you, advice. And you can um, use her same confessional background. <laughs> oh, I'm producing. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I just, because, like, but Crystal, Crystal's so up for taking any sympathy that she's like, do, you know, I know that Erica might be a little biased, but, you know, Sutton can be relentless and she doesn't want me to get walked all over. So even though Erica's kind of not really totally making sense, she's like, I'll take it. I'll take anything I can get. And yeah. Like, and then you tell her, don't call me a liar. She's like, all right. <laughs> She didn't right. really call her a liar, but fine. She didn't. And she's just Sutton doesn't want this. She's like, the reason why she's <laughs> relentless is she's like, I want this to stop. <laughs> I don't want to talk about this anymore. Like, I've tried to stop this conversation like 5,000 times already. And everyone keeps bringing this shit back up. <laughs> like, <laughs> stop it. She's <laughs> like, literally. Sutton is like. She is the thing is that it's just so unhinged when she's trying to say she just doesn't want to do this anymore that it just seems crazy. I'm like, she just doesn't want to talk about this any further. <laughs> Please. <laughs> but she also wants to be clear once we before we stop talking that she is not racist and she is not a bad person. Now we can close the forum. <laughs> but everyone keeps on saying, but and then it's like, no, 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 I gotta say it one more time. <laughs> I am not racist, and I am a good person, and my home is for love. No one else speak. <laughs> Period. Period. Forum closed. Dessert winds out. Scene. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Camera down. The- Camera down. Camera down. Everyone mics are. Everyone's mics are shut. Everyone take their fucking mics off <laughs> now. Now. Hand them over. <laughs> <laughs> That is that is literally what Sutton wants. Uh-huh. <laughs> no one is doing it. No <laughs> one is listening. <laughs> uh, okay, so Kyle called Rena and Erica, and I like I love that they did this montage of Crystal crying. They're like, "Oh, Crystal cried." <laughs> <laughs> is <laughs> Did they purposely try to troll her? Because, like, they made it comedic. They're, they're like, oh, Crystal, you got a little, like, <laughs> like, what? why did they do it like that? <laughs> she is smoking. She is not supposed to get out. What? <laughs> she has yeah. a lot of smoke in this building, and she has some money on her body. I'm telling. I'm telling. All right, so they get to the dinner, but before we get to the dinner, can we talk about Garcelle's look? Yikes. So the dress is fine, but you can't do the hair and the... It's like it looked like a costume. Poor Garcelle. Like, she, like, she, she, for every good outfit, she has, like, four bad ones. It's like, damn it. Like, we were rooting for you. The dress, we were all rooting for you. <laughs> the dress with, like, m- a modern hairstyle would have been fabulous. But yeah. this, like, huge flower and the updo, I'm like, wh- are you auditioning for, like, what's that movie that the is animated mm-hmm. that was El Cantanto or something. Uh, like, what am I saying? Is that you know Pixar movie? Yes. We don't talk about yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. It looks like she's El in Canto? a cos- El Canto. I don't know. I think it looks good. like that. It's bad. I need to watch then, that movie. But then again, Kyle's like really little to be thing is not great either. Um, Renner's look is good. I like Rena's look. It's great dress, actually. It's really pretty. It's very beautiful. I loved it. Loved it. Um, Diana's hair. What, like, I didn't get it. <laughs> like, it, like, I wanted to grab, like, the bang here. I wanted to, like, 
grab the back section and like I just wanted to touch it. I wanted to fix it. I'm like, but they they did that on purpose. That was intentional. That was on purpose. Didn't work. Speaking didn't of Diana, though, she did not want to talk about that book. And it was very uncomfortable when they were like, so you're not a, like, sex trafficker? I'm like, excuse <laughs> you. That's it's like, like let's, go, let's just jump in. I sex trafficking, do you do it? <laughs> I Okay, I didn't know this because I just did a signing recently and they had just gotten their citizenship. They ask you, are you a terrorist? And are you a serial killer? Like, and like, is anybody gonna actually say yes and yes? <laughs> <laughs> yes and yes. Is I mean, that gonna like, be a well, problem? Is that ask. gonna be an issue for my paperwork? And who was <laughs> yes? <laughs> yes. Um. Mm-hmm. Well, can you define serial killer? Because <laughs> as of right now, my number three are a little low. <laughs> I have high aspirations, though. Yeah, and I don't know if I'm killing in the same pattern yeah. all the time like i'm a little sporadic yeah i don't have like i don't have my calling card quite yet yeah so would you define that as zero killing or just regular killing killing they leave notes <laughs> <laughs> um like uh, so, but she doesn't quite answer it she just like laughs maniacally <laughs> maniacally she's <laughs> like oh, it's so silly Oh god, it's so creepy. It's so creepy. Well, that wasn't an answer. <laughs> um, <laughs> I can't wait to watch the documentary on her uh, crimes. Right? <laughs> she was very cagey about this. Um, the cleansing ceremony when Dorit screams, that is me. I am so jumpy. Like I, I jump at my own voice. Like oh, I, absolutely. Like I would have been very. I, I have watched that clip over and over again and laughed every single time. I like whenever I jump. Like I literally jump at anything. Like you, we were. You saw me jump when we did it a few. <laughs> 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 I do that all the time, and I do it to people. Like I want to like see what I look like to them. Like if like someone surprises me. Like, I don't know why I'm surprised when I, like, I'm on an elevator and it opens and there's someone just right there. And I'm always like, ah! <laughs> like, <laughs> I lit and I do that though. Like, not I even kidding. Too. I'm like, ah! And then I, and then I, and then because I'm embarrassed that I did that, I'm like, you scared me. Like, <laughs> I just say that. <laughs> and then I laugh. I'm like, ah! <laughs> Like, she's like, this guy is like crazy. You scared me. You scared <laughs> like, me. I, I do that all the time. I'm like, you scared me because I, I like need to explain. Well, I just screamed in their face. They're like, I gathered that. <laughs> <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. Oh my god. This is why I don't think I would ever be attacked because they would be like, she's fucking crazy. Like, I don't, she, she just doesn't seem like this is going to be easy. Oh, <laughs> by the way, that is a tactic that I utilized one time. So I was, I worked at LA Live for a period of time. I worked at the Cat Katsuya over there and I was leaving work late. I closed and I was in the parking lot and I just had this really creepy feeling that someone was going to attack me. I just had a feeling. And because I can't really fight. So I just started flailing my arms and looking crazy. And I get chills every time I talk about it. A guy went running from behind a car. Someone was fully going to fucking attack me. I, I get, like, my hairs are standing up. But because I looked crazy, they aborted mission. Yeah, that is a, that's a, that's a, that is a tactic. Cause like, I can't fight either. Oh, damn. Now people know. Um, <laughs> well, so, no, actually spreading the word. This is a PSA to women everywhere. If you feel like you are in a dangerous place, they don't want to deal with that. Yeah. Like that's, that's one. I would like probably another good one is urinate on yourself or like uh-huh. do something disgusting like that. Because then like that, that, they say that like urinating or defecating on yourself uh prevents people from like wanting to like rape, rape you 
and stuff mm-hmm. like that, kind of like they're like, I don't want to do that anymore. So like that's, that's one a, thing that's, you can do. That's that's dark. It's dark, but it, you know, I do it. I'd be like, you want this now? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I might need to edit that part out. That oh. might get me. That might get me censored. Okay, I think, sorry. I think, <laughs> I think, I I think you. Dark? I think YouTube like might pull that part. Okay, they so like. They get, Damn it, Pia! You can't say the R word anymore if it goes on YouTube. I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah, they pull that, and they pull. Um, they might. They pull something else. I mean, not like. Is there like a list that knows. you have to like look? Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Sorry. So now I'm supposed to say R word. R word. R word. Now I know. I thought if I whispered it, <laughs> <laughs> that it would be fine. <laughs> they will hear it. I said it very <laughs> quietly. They'll so. never hear it. <laughs> awesome. They'll never hear it. I guess that's not true. <laughs> I guess that's not true. Uh, Kyle knows exactly what she's doing. She goes, so what you guys do after surfing? And they're like, oh. and they bring it up. And so Eric, now they're completely speaking for Crystal. Erica's like, well, I said for Sutton to say you're a liar in your friend group. You know, I would want to know who said it. And it's Sutton's like, different people, it's just a long list. <laughs> Sutton's like, well, when you have a reputation of doing this, and Crystal's like, you know this of me? And Erica says she feels like she's an easy target. And anything she says will never be good enough. And, like, why are they talking for her? It's just, it's so bizarre that they are fully having a con. Like, no one really ever does this for anyone in this well, in Erica housewife is, show. Erica wants her allowance from Diana. And in order to receive it, she must work some pro bono work for Crystal. She is now her lawyer. That's what's happening. <laughs> it's bizarre. She's right next to her. <laughs> She's like, I will translate. Um, and but this was a good this is a good back and forth. Sutton goes, When you keep attacking my character, and Crystal goes, You're gonna attack my character. I'm like, ooh, nice. That was good. I know, I know, that was good. I was, that like, was, I was right? like I was, I was like, like, that was a good retort. I was like, Yeah. I literally turned my head because I wasn't looking, and I was like, ooh. That was so good. <laughs> she got her. Ooh, I was like, that. it was so quick. Because it makes Sutton go, all right, I will apologize for that. <laughs> that but, okay, see, so this is what brings me back for Sutton, because she will be like, you know what? You got me. That is what I did. Okay. Mm-hmm. So then I'm sorry then. And mm-hmm. I, that, I, I love that. I'm like, okay. Yeah. That's adult. That's adult. Like you, no one's asking everyone to be perfect. If you do something and then someone calls you out for it, you can be like, oh, "I did it. I did do that." So sorry. Hmm. And then she goes, "But I will not take back <laughs> that you have done this repeatedly <laughs> to me." That's my and favorite. I, and I need for you to stop that. And I need for you to tell me that you're going to stop that. But then Erica's like, I think she's trying. And Garcelle's like, Erica, shut up. It's like, you're in bugging me. <laughs> I loved it. the shit out of me. Because, and Erica's like, why should I stay out of it? Why should I? And Garcelle, I don't know if it's editing, but Garcelle dropped it. But I kind of wish she had been like, because it's none of your fucking business. Like, it's not your fight. Yeah. But they may have just edited that out. Yeah. For time. For time. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> but then this part was really awkward. I thought it was a little intense. Sutton's like, say you're not going to do this to me anymore. Or no, she goes, you're not going to do this to me anymore. But Crystal goes like, she Crystal like thinks about it. And she goes, yeah, I can say that. I know that was so calculating. <laughs> Is that weird? <laughs> yeah. Cause she was like, boop, 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 boop. sure. I can do that. That's exactly. It was so bizarre. <laughs> but then Sutton okay. demands that she say it. She's like, I need you to say it. She's like, yeah, I just, yeah, I said it. I'm not, yeah. She's like, say, say it. Say, say the word. Say to me, 
<laughs> you're not going to say. And I was like, I was shocked that Crystal said, I'm not going to do that to you anymore. And I was like, okay, Sutton, you got it out of her. And then she's like, I just need to be able to trust you. I'm like, Sutton. I know. It's like Sutton. We already, like, I didn't think we were going to get that. So, like. Uh, and that's exactly what I said. So I was like, let's quit while we're ahead here, buddy. She, that's a problem with Sutton also. It's like, oh, yes, Sutton, you go, girl, no, too much. You do too much. <laughs> it's like, you shot. God damn it, Sutton, put a button on it. Because <laughs> I really want to go forward with the friendship with you. Because I do genuinely like you. And then, of course, Crystal's like, well, last night you said you hated me. <laughs> God, it's just like, and then that, like, these ladies. Don't know how to like finish a fucking fight. Ugh. Well, but then you said, and I mean, like, she did, and I knew this did. was gonna come. I knew this was gonna come back to bite. I knew it was because Sutton tries to be funny, but she's like clumsy with her words. God damn it! This yeah. is where Diana, in like the whole English is her second language thing, gets annoying because she uses this like kind of very like sort of not petty, but like simple detail she's like you did say that you said that it's like okay but Sutton meant like yeah like I was like guys she didn't like I don't know if you get like people's like humor like she's trying to say like I hate like she like she doesn't actually hate Crystal it's just like a expression it's like oh I hate you right now but I love you I love your ass like it wasn't it wasn't serious and but the problem is with these ladies like anything you say is up for grabs so and like Diana especially because she's so hung up on like words English yeah you know so she's like a bacon eating vegetarian I don't understand that like it's like okay that's like whatever now she's like but you said hate and I like like oh my god okay like Oh my god. Like, and sometimes so, I and fucking eat bacon. Like, and, sue me. Bacon is good. Trying. So, now, but then Sutton <laughs> just loses it. And I can, this is where, like, Sutton's just not my favorite. Like, I, she's just like, I'm a good person. What? No, we don't need to say that. Don't need, never ever should anyone start with, listen, I'm a good person. No, don't do that. You really That's- lose an argument there. Yeah, because the thing is, when you say I'm a good person, like, um, to who? Like, what are you that is relative, like, everybody, like, I'm allowed to, like, not feel like you're a good person. Like, every, mm-hmm. you're, like, you can't decide that for everybody. Like, like, everybody's morals and standards are different. So you might not be a good person to everyone. You could be a good person for yourself. <laughs> like, and but, it's like, like, we didn't that's say about you're it. not a good person. Like, you've taken yeah. it to a place that's, like, irrelevant. She was, but Sutton loses it. Like she yeah. loses it. And she's like, and, and she's like, I'm gonna say it again. Okay. She, but it. I mean, it's funny. I I do. Day. I did laugh though when she said, "I'm gonna say it again," because that's like <laughs> been her thing. Because like Diana will say something to her, and then she was like, "You already said that." She's again, like, "I'm gonna say it again," and I'm gonna <laughs> say it again because I said I wasn't done. You need. You need to let me. What did I say, Diana? I am a good person. <laughs> I'm all. a good person. <laughs> That's all, Button. Mike's down. Mike's, Mike's all down. down. Mike's all. I'm a good person. <laughs> <laughs> and so they literally are like, Sutton, you need to take a minute. I don't need to take a minute. <laughs> so, and so she leaves practically in the same fashion that she left, like, at Lisa With your Rina's ugly part. leather pants. <laughs> it's very similar. Very much the same energy. No, ma'am. Very much no similar ma'am. to that. No, I, ma'am. I'm sorry. I love the no, ma'am. I use that uh, now no in ma'am. my life. I love I the use, no, ma'am. I use that now in my everyday life. I'm like, no, ma'am. I love no, no ma'am. ma'am. <laughs> no, ma'am. No, ma'am. I (laughs) love it. It just, I love, honestly, I love Southern people's, like, random shit that they say, like, their phrases. I've always loved them. Because they're just so fun. They're so fun. I agree. They're fun because they're, like, polite, but they're so so mad. Yes. Bless your heart. I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's so bitchy. It's 
so bitchy and I love it. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, and so Kyle has to like chase after her. She's like, calm down, calm down. It's not that bad. Calm down. Keep, keep it together. Which is so funny because you know that Kyle's had to do this so many times with Sutton. Yeah. Like, please. You know Sutton's like trying to take off her mic. Yeah. And she, and she's... like, and Kyle is in so like, you know, ready to fight for Sutton because she agrees with Sutton, obviously. But it's like also, it's like that thing that we keep talking about. It's like Sutton, like you're making it hard for me to defend you right now. <laughs> like you're like, you look like a lunatic. Like, but I also agree with you, but no one's going to see that shit yeah. because you're fucking acting crazy. And she was like, you were fine last night. You kept your composure last night. Like fucking figure out where that girl is and bring it here channel her because that shit's not flying right now you looking crazy as fuck you're letting these people get to you (laughs) keep it together keep it together and so diana's now crying at the table and garcelle is eating her artichoke um how do we feel about diana crying because i felt like it was also fake I don't know. I feel I feel like, like she just decided to cry because she was like, uh, sh- I want everyone to be on my side. Like, she just I, like, I just felt like, I just felt like she just all of a sudden just like collapsed. Like, I didn't see tears. Uh, Rewind the tape. I didn't see no fucking tears. I, I just saw her like, <laughs> I just, I'm like, I, I didn't feel, feel, I didn't feel anything. No, no, no. Here's how I feel about it. I feel like it's a lot when a newbie comes on a cast trip. So I feel like the tears were more of a culmination of being like, what have I signed up for? Not necessarily just about Sutton. More like, okay, I'm, I'm just had a baby. I'm really hormonal. I feel like it was like a cry, like a woman sometimes just has to cry. It wasn't like just about Sutton. I'll take it. I don't know. I'm a well, I don't think she. I don't know if she's like that manipulative yet. I'm not quite believing she's that manipulative. TBD. I I'm not know. getting. I'm not getting a read off of her really yet. I don't. I do think she is manipulative. Okay, but but in a really like smart way. You know? Okay, like she. Doesn't, I mean, I make like, space for that. I don't think that she's like manipulative like crystal manipulative where I'm like I can see it clear as day I think that the reason why she is where she is in life is because she's just really good at it and I feel like we like in the preview when she's like do you, do you want me to be the villain I'll be your villain like I don't think that this woman cries easily and like I know she has hormones and shit in her so like yes I understand that but I don't I don't buy that this this little thing and what what's happened in this group mm. so far would get Diana to, to cry. That's why I felt like, I was like, bitch, you are not okay. crying. Like, okay. you, these little women don't make you, like, I, I don't believe that for a fucking second. That okay. these group of women can make that woman cry. Period. <laughs> like, I thought it was no. really interesting when uh sh- when Crystal was crying on the beach and they were comforting her and Diana said, you live in LA. LA is a very hard city. I was like, interesting. It is a hard city. Yeah. Uh, and I, I thought that was a talent. That was an interesting statement. Okay, let's, let's see. We have much more to see from Diana, but yeah, I hold space for that. Okay. 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 We have quite a ways to go. Yeah, we do. We have a long, we have a long way. We haven't even, Kathy's not even here yet. Sheree isn't even here yet. Yeah, like we are missing two cast mates, guys. We yeah, are, we are. Are. We are in the prologue. Episode six. We are in the prologue, guys. We haven't even entered the story. Ooh. Um, So Sutton comes back and immediately she's like going to apologize to to Diana. And Erica's like, she started crying. (laughs) We got it. And Erica, and and Sutton just goes, I'm sorry. Like, I lost my cool. (laughs) (laughs) she said it just like that too (laughs) oh my god I can't like she just sat and takes me on a fucking roller coaster like no other (laughs) Uh, so Dorit takes Diana and Crystal they all go to the bathroom and like touch up and then so Kyle's like okay guys listen 
I know you had like a moment with Crystal earlier and they were like, yeah. Erica, she's like, yeah, we did. Sure did. And I was like, but she did it to herself. Okay, she put herself in this position. And Garcelle's like, yeah, okay, she has this tendency to like shut down and cave inwards. And Kyle and Garcelle kind of like finish each other's sentences. They're like, it feels like a tactic to appear like a victim. It's intentional. <laughs> Yeah. And Erica looks, Erica's, when she, when Erica realizes that Kyle also feels this way, she's like, wait, you both think that? Oh, wait, am I on the wrong team? Hold yeah, on. it was really funny. Kyle was really in, and I think the most amazing way regulating that whole fucking situation. She was like, she waited for the perfect moment. And she, de- she was like, I don't know if, if you guys forgot, but I'm in charge. And I say, Crystal did it to herself. I and Erica say Crystal is did like... it to herself, and that's what it is. <laughs> like, Erica kind of Eric when she heard Kyle say that, she's like, "Wait, you both think that?" Okay. And so Kyle in her confessional says, "And this this whole moment, Pia, this moment gave me like." For some reason, it kind of even gave me like a Beverly Hills 90210 feel. Like it gave very high school meets Beverly Hills high society like realness. It yeah. was all like, take with that what you will. But that's just how it felt. Because Kyle, mm-hmm. Kyle says that Crystal might not feel comfortable in the group. And sympathy is the best way for her to get attention. Mm-hmm. And guess what? It's not. And I was like, "Is it?" Um, I do. I stand by my 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 beliefs that I Crystal is. Ex- I think she really does experience things in this way. I feel like she is experiencing them in in a sensitive, dramatic way, like genuinely. Yeah, but I. I think you can experience all that and I agree with you, but I can all, but I also think she is self, she's very smart and she's very self aware. And I do think that it can be both. Like, I think that she could actually have those experiences, but she can also be milking it. Like, she can also be like, it's like when someone is like hurts their, like when a little kid hurts their, like, they Mm -hmm. fall and it does hurt. But when you go up to them, you're like, are you okay? No, I am. Yay! Like, that is what I feel like with Crystal. Like, she does get hurt, but <clears throat> she is uncomfortable, so the easiest way for her to, like, feel comfortable is to gain sympathy, and she kind of uses whatever the real experience was for her. She milks it a bit. Okay. That's, I think it can be both. Okay. And so, Erica, Erica's still trying to stick up. She's like, do you really think that she's that manipulative? Uh, and Kyle's like, well, how do you feel that you have all the facts? Wait, you froze. And- you froze. Oh. Am I oh. still frozen? No, you're not. But it's me. It says my internet's unstable. So oh, unstable. Was- I know. That was like harsh. That's rude. I know. I was like, all right. You're unstable. I don't need to- you're unstable. Totally. Um, Erica's like, do you- Kyle's like, how do you feel now that you have all the facts? And Erica's like, I don't think she's ever been challenged like she has in this group. And Kyle's like, well, what about those 14 friends? Kyle, that looks good. (gasps) I was like, Kyle, do I like you? (laughs) And I, and uh, Erica, you know, Erica makes a fair question. She's like, do you believe those 14 friends over her? And Kyle's like, I didn't until I saw this behavior. Yes, Kyle. And... Kyle in her confessional, this is how you know that Kyle, as soon as Crystal got, as soon as it was announced Crystal was coming on the show, she must have been bombarded with people being like, girl, be careful. Yeah. So she's like, yeah, I've heard. I've heard all about it, but it's in one ear, out the other, until you start seeing this behavior. Which also explains why when the coat thing happened last year, and Crystal didn't come to dinner the next night. Kyle was not super sensitive. She was like, wait, you really like you can't come to dinner because of that? She wasn't. She was not open yeah. to it. She was like, I bet because she was like, oh, wait a minute. This is kind of what. Yeah, she's just adding. Th- she's, she's tallying it up and she's and, you know. 
Hmm. She was waiting. She was waiting to see if all the things she heard was correct. And now, like, again, it's like when one thing happens, it's like, okay, that could be a one-off. But she's starting to develop a pattern. Mm Mm-hmm. And if you if you if you're hearing like exactly that story from people prior to Crystal coming on the show, and then exactly that is happening, you're like, oh shit! And so, uh, right before they get back from the bathroom, Kyle says something interesting. She says it's murky intentionally. He's like, huh? Yes, it's a good way to put it. I like yeah, murky intentionally. intentionally. Like, very dark, not going to tell you what it is. It's forgivable. Like, all that stuff where now we're, like, piecing it together. It's like, oh. So, here we are. Here we are. And next week we get drunk Erica on the boat. I can't wait. I just cannot wait. I cannot wait. Oh. Oh, that was so funny. No, somebody just like left. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're doing a tour of the building. <laughs> you, you're always just like, like you're the one showing what it's like to work in the communal spaces I know, like, I need to get of your off. apartment. <laughs> um, I, did, wait, I, I forgot to point out how great it is that when Erica's drunk in the teaser for next week, she talks about how she used to have a boat. It was called the Illegal Hi. Is this real? Mm-hmm. Illegal, and it's spelled I L L Eagle, like the bird. Illegal. Oh, I can't. Goodness. I don't even know how to unpack that. I don't even know how to unpack that. I can't. Like, it's crazy. And it's so funny because it's like when you find out about people, it's like you start realizing the clues were always there. Always. <laughs> always. Um, okay, what was your favorite scene or line from this episode? I feel like it um it always comes from like Sutton because she's like comedic, but it's like it was just <laughs> I don't know if it's like a line or if it's just like the whole interaction with like her being like I'm a good person, like and just trying like that whole like I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it again. So, like, it's just that whole, like, her trying <laughs> to say that was hilarious to me. That was my standout. I I liked uh, Erica at the bar with Crystal giving, just giving her the pep talk. Like, <laughs> you're going to be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I like Erica being wasted in a mess is really enjoyable to watch. I'm here she, for it. Yeah, like there's moments where I'm like really enjoying Erica for television. For television, and I have to always say she robbed Victor. Oh, I also want to say something about like so with the Erica stuff, like and the whole money and all that. So. She's trying to claim, like, she, she, the whole $25 million or $20 million, she's like, I didn't have that money. It was, it was basically her allowance over a period of time. Like, she wasn't given $20 million to, like, stash and hide. Right. It was, it was money that was being given to her as her rich woman allowance. Right. And so, you know, over the course of however many years in their world, that's not a lot of money. I mean, to us, that sounds like a crazy amount of money, but like yes. over a period of time for her, it is. that's <laughs> like not a lot of money. That's like the money that all of them would be spending or whatever, right? Yeah, if they and earned so she, it. If they earned it, right? So she's like, I don't have that money. It's like, unfortunately, the way you had the money over these past 20 fucking years was obtained illegally. Yeah, so now, so now, unfortunately, you owe that money back. And so I know you don't have it now, but all those assets you do have, you got to give it, you got to, yeah, like the earrings those. in your ear, like you have to uh, liquidate it. To liquidate it and you got to sell it and you got to yeah, give it to them. Like you no longer own that. that we need like to I, take 
all like, that shit, and we need that to means. pay back what you used over time. Like, I get that you're trying to say, like, I don't have it. Like, no, no, we don't think you we, have it. Yeah, we don't it think you have it account. in a, like, like, you buried it in your backyard or off the cliff that Tom rolled Yeah. Off. Like, no, yeah. like, no, we no, know that. No one thinks that. Uh, but you used it. And mm-hmm. it's worse. Like, we wish you had it. So you Yeah, because then it. you could just give it. So we know um, you don't. We know you don't so, have it. But you gotta still figure it out, bro. So yeah. maybe scale back on the plan. And the latest thing she said about the tax lien is, because, you know, these earrings are this big thing. Yeah. So, you know, she, is that she can't give the earrings now because now she's got this tax lien and they may want those earrings. Like, honestly, she should be living in an apartment. Exactly. That's what's so frustrating. It's like, like, bitch, learn what it's like to struggle. Like, my apartment building is really nice. You should check it out. Um, (laughs) I think it's affordable. It's really nice, you know? Um, I think she should look into a just a nice one bedroom, one bedroom luxury apartment. You know, yeah. it doesn't have to have a white refrigerator. Like it has amenities. This we have stainless steel here. Uh, Hello, like we have a lot of different rooms here. Yep. Okay, that I'm gonna. There's a you know there's a podcasting room here. Hi. Um, there there's a legit podcasting room. I was gonna use it. Wait, really? Yeah. What? I have these amenities. Sean, my boyfriend, always says, like, why don't you use any of the amenities here? Like, he's constantly using every fucking amenity. Like, there's fresh coffee in the lobby for us every morning. Like, there's, like, it's really fucking nice here. Come over. Um, I know, right? Maybe we should record in the podcast room. Yeah, but the thing is, like, I'm well, yeah, we can definitely do that. It's just, like, I just need to bring my ring light down there because, like, it doesn't have, like, the natural light that that's well, we'll right now. I can bring my ring light. We can set it up. Yeah, like. We can definitely do that. Like, yeah, no, we have like a podcast room. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I don't Maybe one any- day is one special one special session we should do in the amenities and then we could tell Erica, see? Yeah, like no yeah, there's like there's so I like so I couldn't remember they took us when I got this came into this apartment, they took us on a tour and I saw all the amenities and I was like, Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. Um and then I only used like one amenity and i forgot where all the rooms were so and i didn't feel like looking at the map that they gave us and so the other day i was like walking pen and we were like we have a dog run in our building and i was like they were doing some construction on it to make it nicer so i was like oh okay i'm just gonna keep going and i'm gonna go out the door and i'm gonna walk them and then there's like another part of the building and i was like I bet you that's where the other part of the roof is that I keep thinking about. I was like, they took me to another roof, and I can't remember how to get there. And I was like, let me go through this thing. And I was like, yep, this is where the roof is. Okay. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, where's that fucking podcasting room that they showed? And I was like, oh, here it is. And then I started walking through the building. I was like, that's how, like, that's why I was in here today. I was like, I just spent like, I spent like 45 minutes in here with Penn. I was like, this is nice in here. Some, it's put, your own building. I was like, I was like, I put some music on. I was like, this is fucking nice. And then I went out. I was like, oh, there's that boardroom that they said we can use. I was like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> and all these are amenities you have at your leisure. I know. I could just use them. Like, there's a courtyard right now that I'm looking out at that you can that have. Like, it's really nice. There's couches out here. Should oh, I turn, you turn it around. Yeah, turn it around. Let the people see. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I know. I just sat down there for the first time, like the other day. And you know, yesterday in the same courtyard, um, I had to work, so so sad. Sean went. They ha- they have like little fun events for us and stuff like that here, like on the roof or in the courtyard. Yesterday they had a comedy stand up comedy special where they did from like the balconies, and they like you sat and they gave they had hot like these like hot dogs and beers and stuff that they gave up gave out like sean was like wasted. he was like sean was wasted. <laughs> he's like texting me like this is i'm having a great time he like sent me a video <laughs> of his hot dog wrapped in bacon whoa <laughs> dude they, yeah. like they treat you guys great yeah they had like a mother's day thing on the roof like live music like catered uh bar all free i mean we wait a rent, minute but what is your rent it's expensive. Yeah, that's but I was Erica say, can afford. It's it's high, but like if you 
because we like we have a one bedroom. It's not that. It's actually when we did the math. This is this is why we said when we did the math with the amenities included, we were able to like cancel our gym membership, like things like that, and like we were having to like we spent we're spending so much money on laundry at our old building. I was like when we like broke the math down, it's like honestly we're really not spending that much more money monthly after you like think of all the other things that we were spending. I was like. And it's much more comfortable living. I was like, I don't ever really want to leave my apartment, usually. I got it. Yeah. But Erica could afford it. No, Erica could afford it. I was like, it's nice here. Erica could afford this. <laughs> like, easily. Imagine Erica moved into your building. <laughs> I would love it. <laughs> like, hey, girl. Hey, girl, hey. <laughs> Sorry, can you not come in here podcasting about you? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be a good one. It's not gonna be. A, it's not gonna be a good one. Um. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Um. Same time, same place next week. Follow Pia J at Pia J V on Instagram and TikTok. Follow me at She Speaks Bravo. And I do want to say I've I've gotten some followers, and I want to say thank you to everyone who follows me, and I really appreciate you. Some people oh my like, God. You know, they like my little stories. I'm like laugh and i'm like thank you i really think i my titanic content was really good this week anyway <laughs> <laughs> all right bye guys bye. <laughs>